You mean an obi or a an, an obi? obi. Uh, well, they're all all of those down there. All of those are obis. Obis. Like yeah. Ob obis. Another one. Different one. You could have been in. Oh. He thinks that's the one you should be wearing. Yes. Except it's dark blue. That's the thing. I happen to prefer the one you've got on, but it's all a matter of personal choice. And it's a perfect winter garb too, you know. Yeah, and and you look so elegant in it. You do, you know, you suit it. And it couldn't be more perfectly tailored. I tell you, this is the height of serendipity. That's the side I like best, but then I'm a little bit more colorful in my taste. Uh, how much? Yeah. Can, yeah. Can you write? This is very nice. Two. Well, the obis are, you see, are a piece of work in themselves. I think so, honestly, because you don't realize how splendid you look. Don't you think it's the perfect choice for him, Reno? You do, believe me. I'm not trying to force you to buy, but no, it just seems no. the right thing. Yeah. What would you wear underneath it? Oh, oh almost nothing. It's <laughs> really a pair of underpants. It's too small for you, Reno. Alas. Looks rather nice. You look so splendid. Do you know you? You're like a butterfly that's lost its wings when you take that off. <laughs> Oh, you've got to have the OB. The OB is... Hang on. I will, can indeed. Yes, hang on. <laughs>